two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A ten never fades. Wow, cool. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks again for popping by. I'm gonna do a pregnancy update for you today. I am 18 plus one. So yeah, just over 18 weeks. And I think that makes me, I know, four and a half, five months. Firstly, I am gonna apologize for the state of me. I just have a really ratty cardigan on. I have the greasiest hair in the world. I've got no makeup on and I just feel rubbish. Excuse me, gosh that was a big yawn, um, yeah, I feel rubbish, I feel really tired and ugh, now obviously I'm in the second trimester where everybody says you get all your energy back and you get your glow um, and it's supposed to be the best time throughout your pregnancy, you know your first trimester you're feeling quite sick which I obviously felt like really really sick and I was really sick and then they say the last trimester everything catches up on you and you get really tired and like sluggish again and um but I don't really know whether this is because of the pregnancy or whether it's because I'm still running around after three children age three and under um I can't quite pinpoint what it is <laughs> but I definitely don't think that the pregnancy hormones and everything like that are helping so I just feel exhausted constantly I can't stop yawning and I feel really rude whenever I talk to people I'm like yawning midway through their conversation and it's just awful <laughs> um yeah I'm just like I'm finding it hard to get motivated like waking up in the morning I'll have a shower and I'll freshen up but I just the thought of putting a full face of makeup on and washing and styling my hair is literally the last thing on my mind <laughs> and I know I probably should because it will make me feel a million times better but I just cannot seem to get that motivation I am just so tired I know you're gonna get bored of me saying it I'm exhausted I'm tired and all that but I genuinely am so tired Marco's still waking at night as well so I'm still waking up obviously waking up and I'm going to the toilet all the time so I don't actually get a very big chunk of sleep which is a little bit frustrating oh hi did you hit your head did you bump your head with Nico yes did you say sorry sorry Nico <laughs> good boy did you kiss it better can mummy do her video? You're gonna sit down with me. Okay, good boy. Come and sit here so they can see you. Say, hi YouTube. Can you say, hi YouTube? Hi YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, obviously I have the kids. I'm, oh, careful. I don't know why I'm saying careful. that because I've always got be the kids. Careful. You do have to be careful. Here, come and sit down. <laughs> come and sit down. <laughs> hi you cheeky. <laughs> go and sit down. So as you can imagine, it's really hard to try and film while I've got children at home that don't always nap at the same time. I do put them down at the same time for a nap, but it doesn't always work out that way. Usually Lorenzo will lay in bed until his brother goes to sleep and then he'll come down. So, um, yeah. Are you going to tell them you're in big boy pants now? Big boy pants. Yeah. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> oh gosh, here comes the other one. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not feeling great at the moment, feeling very tired. I do feel really hormonal and emotional. I don't know why, like, I don't know, quite a few things are just not getting to me, but I don't know, I can't explain it, but just a few things that have happened recently and I just thought, oh, hiya. this is not what I need while I'm pregnant. Hiya. And hiya. Oh, hiya. Can I help you? Next. Yes, what would you like? Sure. That's a bat. No. That's another bat. It's a bat. What? Cheeky. Ow! <laughs> Mind your mummy too! Oh gosh. Oh, ow, Nick! <laughs> You're so cheeky! <laughs> <laughs> really sorry guys. I shouldn't really apologize. This is just my life really. Like, what you tuned in for? Pregnancy update with kids. <laughs> Ow. 
or spoke to you last even, I told you that I had a consultant appointment and a midwife appointment. Now, the midwife appointment went really, really well, had all my bloods back and everything like that. Everything's clear and good. Um, my iron is surprisingly fine. Usually I uh, have really bad iron store levels and that makes me just feel really, really tired. But she hasn't prescribed any sort of iron or anything so um i'm guessing that me being so tired is just down to running around after the three loons <laughs> um yeah so that was good midwife appointment was absolutely fine i got to hear the baby's heartbeat which was amazing that's good okay thank you so that's a lovely heartbeat that's good. that sound just never gets old does it i could just listen to it all day every day just knowing that the little baby is so safe inside and happy he's back with the bats <laughs> don't sit in mommy's lap ouch mind to mommy's head thank you oh, no. um and i had the consultant appointment oh, no. and that went well she was um she went through all of my notes with marco and obviously i will do a pregnancy and uh labor delivery with marco Hiya. so you guys have got a bit of an insight as into what happened when i was pregnant with him and um how the delivery and everything like that went hence why i'm seeing a consultant this time so watch out for that video so yeah the consultant appointment went okay um, obviously I have my scan at 20 oh, weeks, which obviously oh I, haven't, which I haven't had yet, and I, ooh, <laughs> and I, um, have to go back again at 28 weeks for another scan. I think I may just have to film the video like this. <laughs> so I have to go back at 28 weeks for another scan because... Uh, they just want to check the growth of the baby and just to make sure um, that everything is going well with the pregnancy and then they'll just make another plan from there. So, yeah, it was yeah, it was quite a positive um, appointment with the consultant. I think I went when I was 16 weeks and she did, um, did do a little scan for me. I couldn't really sort of see anything because she just wanted to just check the heart. The heartbeat really. So yeah, midwife is fine, consultant was fine, um, got a bit more of an idea as to what they've got planned for the pregnancy and I um, obviously am going to be seen um, a lot more than I would uh, normally. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I've got to tell you really. I don't have any cravings, um, still eating a lot of fruit really. I'm not eating as much as I usually would eat when I'm pregnant. Um, I'm not sure if that's just because I feel like I have a little less time now. I'm still eating <laughs> breakfast, lunch and dinner, but I just don't feel like I'm eating as much. And I also feel slimmer in this pregnancy than I have done in my other pregnancies. Um, I don't know if that was due to higher, I don't know if that was due to the sickness or anything like that. So, um, yeah, hiya. So I'll show you the bump quickly while I can. Ow, we've got back going on so this is bump from oh, i'll get it out for you this is bump from the front and then this is bump from the side i feel like i'm carrying really low it just like having a bit of pressure on my back already but yes this is bump bump from the front you can see my belly button's starting to go all funny and yeah that is it Sorry, I probably should have just kept the top down. It's a little bit unattractive, but hey ho. Right, I better go because I am being summoned. So please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, just to see more pregnancy updates, baby videos, mum stuff, um, just general day-to-day -day mum life. And please watch out for all of my uh, birth, labour updates, <laughs> delivery updates which I will put live um, in the next week bye. or so. Right, say bye. Say bye to everyone. Bye to everyone. <laughs> say see you soon. See you soon. <laughs> bye guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.